Pakistan acquiring hypersonic missiles only remains only an idea as of now, with no expectation of any such deal taking place between China and Pakistan in the near future. There are several reasons attached to it. The Eurasian Times spoke to a few experts who put the conjectures in perspective. Military watcher Ahmed Mukherjee voiced skepticism about the theory. He said, Pakistan is an ideal stooge of China to keep India off balance. India should help Taiwan the same way China helps Pakistan. But that is not the issue here. Suitable air defense equipment against hypersonic weapons is still in its infancy. With the deployment of the S-400s, it will be more difficult for the PAF aircraft and cruise missiles to penetrate into Indian airspace. Ballistic missiles could lead to miscalculations of an incoming nuclear strike escalating conventional war to the next level. Swarm drones may not have the range to penetrate deep into enemy airspace and dense anti-aircraft guns, anti-drone systems could effectively deal with them. Hypersonic weapons could give Pakistan a surefire method of penetrating deep into Indian airspace to achieve the desired objectives without escalating into a nuclear war. Philippines-based defense analyst Miguel Miranda offered a nuanced view. He said, I have no doubts military-to-military -military consultations are always going on between China and Pakistan. All branches of the Pakistan military have benefited from Chinese assistance. The assumption that there are ongoing efforts related to hypersonic missiles isn't far-fetched. We still don't have any concrete evidence that a hypersonic missile, a large diameter precision munition capable of accelerating beyond Mach 5 during its flight, is being assembled in Pakistan. Right now although it's likely the homework or the research for developing one is underway. Thanks to the sudden appearance of hypersonic nuclear-capable missiles in China and North Korea. We have reason to assume these are inexpensive to assemble if the technology and production facilities are in place. It's true that China can sell many types of long-range precision ordnance. It looks like its state-owned companies have free reign to export ballistic missiles and cruise missiles and everything in between. Yet since the 1990s Pakistan's military industrial sector has focused on full indigenization when it comes to strategic weapon systems. Hence, the first hypersonic missile to emerge in Pakistan is likely be 100% made in Pakistan. Nitin J. Tiku, a defense analyst and the managing editor at the Eurasian Times says, there are a few reasons why I don't think Pakistan is going to get hypersonic missiles anytime soon. First, there's still time before China's own hypersonic missile could be fully operational. They conducted a test last year that missed the target by a few kilometers. So, they would want to achieve more enhanced levels of precision before export could even be contemplated. Secondly, hypersonic weapons are a highly classified technology that China may not be willing to share, like its J-20 stealth fighter aircraft. China bets big on Pakistan but there is still a trust deficit. There is always a risk of espionage and China wouldn't be willing to risk it at this point when the US and UK do not have a hypersonic missile and China is treading very carefully. While Pakistan acquiring hypersonic missiles from China sounds far-fetched, the country does have many long, mid, and short-range missiles in its arsenal. The Islamic nation possesses the Chinese version of the S-400 air defense system, called the HQ-9D, which, however, has a much lesser range of 240 kilometers. Given that India faces a two-front war threat from Pakistan and China, Beijing's defense collaboration with its iron brother will continue, or perhaps increase manifold notwithstanding the speculation about hypersonic weapons.